Uh, hello everyone, this is Pi R Squared. Um, I just want to say thank you to all the members of Indo Investasi Forum. Um, I've benefited immensely um, over the last six or twelve months uh, from all the information that uh, all the members have uh, freely shared uh, amongst each other. Um, and I just wanted to share um, a couple of programs that I've got. Uh, they're not actually EAs, but they're related to the use of um, EAs in that um, if you run uh, a VPS, you'll probably find uh, what I'm about to share quite interesting. What they actually are is uh, the first program is an auto um, login script, and what it enables you to do is if, you re if your VPS gets restarted, uh, by your VPS provider for whatever reason, if they're doing updates or if there's just an outage for whatever reason, it will actually, uh, as soon as the VPS is restarted, it will actually automatically uh, log in um, and, um, and you can restart any programs that you had running. Um, it's just a simple case of, of double clicking on the script. It will ask for the username. Um, you click OK, it will then ask for your password and, um, and then it will give you some instructions about um, placing any files that you want to start um, in, in the startup menu. Um, but I actually use another, um, another system uh, for starting up my programs. Just a minute, I'll shut this. Um, and it's a startup delayer. Um, if you're running, you can see I'm running four MT4 platforms here. Um, the last thing you really want to do, uh, particularly if you only got a, you know, a limited amount of RAM on your VPS, 512 megabytes is all I run here. You don't want four um, MetaTrader platforms all trying to open at the same time while Windows is actually trying to start as well. It puts an enormous uh, amount of um, strain on the on the system resources, and you're just as likely to uh, cause an error. Uh, by trying to start too much all at once. Um, so what I use is a, is a free program. Um, it's a startup delayer. And uh, what it actually does is delay the starting of your, of your MetaTrader platforms um, by whatever time period you set. Um, so I'll just... Uh, there's some different sequences I've got at the moment. Um, so what you can see here is my first MetaTrader starts 10 seconds um, after, after the login, then the next one starts 20 seconds, the one after that starts 30 seconds, and then the one after that starts 40 seconds later, and then I actually start a, um, a message, uh, just a text message um, that's left on the screen so that I know that, um, so that I know that the, um, VPS has been restarted. Um, I'll just show you. Well, actually, what I'll do, I'll restart my VPS and show you. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Okay, I've just um, quickly logged back into my VVS and you can see that um, it's automatically logged in um, and here comes the Jockersoft startup delayer software. So it's just starting up uh, my first terminal now. There it goes. Okay, now the second terminal is starting. There it goes. What I really love about this is that uh, everything is put back in the order that um, that it was when you when you close. Whereas if you just start everything up at the same time, then it mixes up the order and it's just as likely to be in a different order the next time you come back. Um, and as you know, you sort of tend to get used to you know um, things being in a certain order. Um, and uh, you know which which is your live account, which is your demo account, and so on and so on. Um, so it's starting up the last terminal now.
only thing I hate about restarting my VPS is that um, all the icons get messed up on my desktop. That only takes a second to sort them out. Okay, and it's just about to pop the message on the screen, so if I wasn't around to actually um, see this happen, um, next time I log into the VPS, uh, I get a little text message on the screen telling me um, that the VPS has been restarted. Whatever pops up, here it comes. So there it is there. So if I were to log in uh, next time I can see uh, that uh, my VPS has been restarted. And then that's it. The Jocker soft software minimizes itself or whatever and goes away. And that's it. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll post some links where you can um, uh, download this software and install it for yourself if you should so desire.